Good morning, everybody. Hello. Uh, my name is Whitney Nicely, and I'm going to tell you how I bought my first rental house, okay? So a lady sent me a question, I think it was last night, actually, um, and she wanted to know how to get started in real estate, basically. She wanted to know how she should buy her first rental house, and that's like walking into the doctor's office and being like, hey, am I sick? I don't know. Are you? Do you need a rental house? Do you want a rental house? What kind of rental house do you want? I mean, I can't just say, oh, you want a rental house? Well, go do this, this, and this. I need to know you. I need to talk to you. I need to ask you some questions. I need to, ugh, this glare on my glasses is terrible. Uh, I need to, like, really understand what your goal is. If you want a rental house, and you have a house, then we might be able to rent that one. You might already have a rental house. You just don't know how to flip it, okay? Or you might have uh, an inherited house that we could rent. You might have really, really great credit, and you might be a banker. And then we can just use your connections and buy a house. I think that would be stupid, but we could do it, okay? So what I want to tell you about is how I bought my first house and all the mistakes I made and the stupid reasons I bought this house, okay? It was ridiculous. So if you want to know if you should buy a rental house, my answer is yes. Should I buy a rental house? Yes, okay? Um, I think everybody should have five or 10 or 15 rental houses. Whether you're a good manager, that's up to you. Whether you're actually making any money, that's up to you. I, I can't do that. But on the surface, I feel like, I mean, I feel like everybody should have a car. But if you live in New York City, that's probably not a good idea. Okay. But anyway, this is going to be how I bought my first house. And I made so many rookie mistakes. Okay. So I bought my first house, I bought my first piece of property at a foreclosure auction, which was really cool, really fun. It was a really big slam dunk. And then I got into real estate house auctions, okay? Because I like auctions. I think you can get great deals at auction. I think you can pay market value at auction. I think anything is possible in real estate. So because I was under the impression that you either had to pay cash for houses or you had to go get a loan and put 20% down and finance it for 30 years. Like those were the only two ways that I thought you could buy houses when I started buying houses. So I saw a sign in my neighborhood for a house auction. I told my mama, I told my brother, I told my daddy, I told my boyfriend, I told everybody. I was going to this auction and I was going to buy this house. Okay? So, I went to the auction. I had a high bid, which was basically every penny I had in my life savings account. And when they got up to $30,000, I put in one last bid. I think at $31,000, and the other guy that was bidding against me quit. Okay? He quit bidding, and I bought it for $31,000, which was $1,000 more than I had in my pocket. And that was the only way that I knew how to buy houses. And I figured that, uh, I mean, I live in this neighborhood, and I know how much I pay. I, I kind of know how much my house is worth. I know how much... Uh, my neighbor's house is worth, surely we could rent this thing for a thousand dollars. I had no way to check. I had no way to find out if that was feasible. I had no way to find out if that was even going to make me any money. But the only thing I knew was I wanted to buy a house and I wanted to be a landlord and I had this much money and it was in the right neighborhood and I could handle it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so scary. Like, Thinking back, I think that was summer of 2012, thinking back on that terrifies me. Like how anybody could go into a real estate deal and not know what they were going to do and if their numbers were right and if they were going to make any money, like that terrifies me and people do it all the time. 
People do it all the time. They jump into houses that they don't know if they can afford. They don't know if it's going to make any money. They don't know how they're going to get out of it. They don't know how to fix anything. They don't know anything about collecting rent. They don't know how to write a contract. They don't know anything. And they're just like, oh, well, I know a couple guys. They do this. They seem to be doing good, so I can do it. No. <laughs> okay. A year later, when I figured out what was going on, I ended up renting that house for $800. And I had no idea about paying taxes and insurance. I guess I just thought I'd pay those out of pocket and not worry about it coming out of the rent. And a year later, I, I knew how to do lease options. I knew how to do owner financing at that point. And we have sold the house on a lease option for $79,000. They do pay me $1,000 a month now. And I got like... $8,000 down. We had to extend their lease option deal. I got another $5,000 down and I haven't calculated it yet, but I think like sometime next year, I'll have all of my money back. Okay. My initial investment, I'll have all of it back and I'll be looking at when they get it mortgaged. I think right now they owe me in the high 60s so I'll make because I'll get all my money back so I'll be whole so when they get their mortgage I'm gonna make like sixty something thousand dollars and I didn't know that's how it was gonna end up when I started it but it terrifies me now to think that people are out there and they're just throwing good money up in the air and hoping it sticks this isn't cooking class okay you can't just throw a noodle on the wall if it sticks, you have to know what you're doing, okay? And that's what I teach people how to do. I teach you how to look at the comps, so look at what's sold in the area, look at the rental rates in the area, look at uh, what you can sell it for, look at how you can buy it. You do not have to put your life savings down to buy a house. You don't have to save up $10,000 so you can buy a $75,000 house because that's 20%. You do not need money, you do not need credit, and you do not need a bank to buy houses, okay? The same guy that I bought the house from at auction those years ago called me last Friday and he was like, Hey Wit, I got two more houses, you want to come buy them? Yes, I do. Went and looked at them, they were falling down. <laughs> they were awful and I gave him an offer which was really low because I didn't want them. Like, they were bad. I didn't, I just didn't want them. But I made an offer. He could have easily taken it. And that offer made sure that I made money. Because that's what I want to do. And that's what you want to do. People get into real estate. People don't like real estate. It's sticks and bricks. They like real estate because it's the land of opportunity. Okay, there's more money in real estate than anything else you're doing. There's more money in real estate. There's, there's more money tied up in real estate that isn't being used that could float this whole country. In fact, there's more empty, vacant, free and clear houses in this country that every homeless person could have a house. That's how we could end the homeless population. Homeless whatever. There's empty houses. Somebody could buy them. Get some sort of government assistance and put the homeless people in it. There's all sorts of possibilities in real estate and you are wasting your time if you're working with an agent trying to find a good investment house. Because agents have access to the MLS. Guess what? That's on the internet and we all have the internet. You need off-market properties. You need not even motivated sellers like scared sellers. I don't want scared sellers. I want smart Smart sellers who know that they just want money from this house. Call me. I buy houses. And if you want to buy houses, you don't have any money, you got bad credit, I have a website. I'll show you three different ways that you can buy houses with no money, no credit, no banks, all that jazz. I'll drop it in the comments here. And I have a call because somebody has reached out to me and said, hey, I want to know more. I want you to teach me how to do this. So. I gotta go. I'm gonna be busy today. Bye, y'all.